Yeah, it doesn't. And probably the biggest reason why is there wasn't a lot of established tag teams. Um, you know, they put a lot of guys together. You know, that's when the whole thing started of let's put Dude Love and Stone Cold together and help build, make them tag champs to build their angle. Um, you know, they took two guys, you know, as, as great as um, Road Dog and Billy were, you know, let's take two singles guys, put them together and let them run. Um, you know, they put the Bariquas together. They had a lot of groups together. You know, they put the Nation of Domination. Um, you know, they had, uh, you know, basically they were taking guys and just kind of throwing them together. You know, you had the Hart Foundation, but it was different because you had, you know, Davy Boy with Owen, and then you put Brett with this one. And a lot of it was just kind of throwing guys together. There wasn't really established. I think we were the really only established ones, and you had the Godwins that were really only, like, you know, established, established. They brought Doug and Phil in, but they, they just didn't adapt well to the style um, compared to what they're used to in Japan. You know, the, the, the new Blackjacks that are throwing, you know, Barry and Bradshaw all together. So I think a lot of that is, you know, they were all great tag teams. You know, we were able to have great matches with everybody. But I think that kind of hurt it because in the 80s, you know, you had Midnight Express, Rock and Roll Express. You know, you had, um, you know, the Andersons. You had all these great established tag teams that were established for so long. It meant more. Um, the tag team division, in my opinion, kind of dropped um, as far as meaning-wise when, you put two belts like you put and nothing against Keith and Rhino, but you put the belts on them because it, it was part of the storyline. You know, the, the storyline with them two being together, that's what it was all about. Um, you know, you put it together to build the storyline, you know, with, you know, again, dude, love and stone cold. So you lose, in my opinion, you kind of lose a lot of the steam of, you know, having established teams, you know, constantly battling each other. That's a, Excellent point. I never really thought of it in that perspective where, yeah, that was the first era where the, the big names were put together and sandwiched as a tag team. And they hate to even put them in that class because they were so great together. But same thing with Bulldog and Owen. And they really dominated the tag team scene for about a year and a half. But, again, it was two guys that were separate entities brought together as a team. And, yeah, they put the Hart Foundation uh, emblem on them at one point. But still, that is an excellent point. I never thought of it like that. But, Another tag team that we've obviously already mentioned a couple of times and a huge uh, association with you, but the NWA angle in 98, we got to talk about that. That was something that, you know, I, it was thrown in there kind of maybe, I don't know if it was a jab towards uh, Jim Cornette and Jeff Jarrett and all that stuff they were trying to do, but I thought it was pretty uh, pretty interesting for that era, the attitude era, bringing the, uh, the tradition back of the NWA. What did you guys think about being thrust into that? Obviously, counterculture to the old school at that point in history. But uh, what did you kind of think looking back at that NWA, uh, WWF angle? Well, I mean, I loved it for multiple reasons. I mean, one reason is, you know, we became NWA World Tag Team Champions. Um, The other reason is we got to beat the Rock and Roll Express Forum. Um, The other reason is if it's an angle that Vince is buying and Vince is pushing and you're involved in it, that means you're going to be on TV, you're going to be used, and you're going to get pushed. Um, so for all of those reasons, you know, it was great. Plus, it was just fun. I mean, I'm in the middle of an angle on WFTV on Monday Night Raw every week, and I'm working with Jim Cornette and the Rock and Roll Express. I mean, it doesn't really get any better than that. And, I mean, I'm working, you know, Ricky and Robert and Cornette. I mean, besides just the learning factor, just the fun factor and the ease factor. And, you know, learning from them, you know, there, there's, there was nothing better. 